Thank you, Mr. Correa. Uh, now recognize the chairman of the full committee, Mr. Jordan, for his opening statement. Uh, I, I thank the chairman for his good work and for having this hearing. Thank Mr. Kanner for being here. Across the United States, there is ample evidence of collusion between powerful organizations. These groups joined together to force ESG policies on American consumers and businesses and set policies to censor conservative voices. What has the Assistant Attorney General for the Antitrust Division done? to rein in this blatant collusion among the most powerful financial institutions and companies in the world. Not much. But the Assistant Attorney General has inserted himself into trade negotiations. He's tried to strip protections for due process rights and competitions in trade talks. If his tactics have worked as the Commerce Department has backtracked on its initial position and no longer supports language from the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework that protects American businesses, the Biden administration is no longer supporting language that appeared in President Trump's U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement to protect Americans. The Assistant Attorney General may, be an international, may, may not be an international trade expert, but he should know that the protectionist policies by foreign governments like the Chinese Communist Party protect foreign businesses and create barriers for American business. Additionally, the DOJ under Assistant Attorney General Kanner has certainly done its fair share of losing. For example, he tried to litigate the same criminal price-fixing trial three times resulting in two hung juries and ultimately the acquittal of all the defendants. The DOJ also has a losing record in civil cases. The DOJ has lost three merger challenges and won only one merger challenge under the Assistant Attorney General's leadership. Based on this record, Assistant Attorney General Cantor needs to rearrange his priorities. I look forward to hearing from the Assistant Attorney General today and answer his, uh, to answer for his decisions. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.